Hey guys, if you're watching this video, you're probably here because you want to learn how to build a computer. Well, I've made a playlist and this is the beginning of that playlist to teach you how to build your own computer part by part. If you want to learn how to find the parts, that will be in a separate playlist linked to this video down below or probably like right above somewhere right here. Once that's made, it will pop up here or you can look down below on a link I have posted. I'm in this video I'm gonna explain a couple things that I've like missed or I need to point out or other stuff like that. Sorry if I turn around here, I have on my computer screen you probably can't see it. I have my list, I'm too easy to memorize and it just helps me like perform better in the camera. And you just look over here, that's my last video how to install your operating system and coding right now on my computer behind me right here is my acrylic, one of my custom built computers. But to get to what I was talking about, I have in the videos, if you've seen uploaded or you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And my subscribers probably have already seen it. It's the one where I, I tell you how to test and install the power supply. I would recommend watching the first uh, five minutes. I'm not sure how far in it is. But at least the testing part is what I do first. Before you install your CPU, That's the CPU is the second video if I'm right how to install the CPU into your motherboard and you want to test that first in case you have a dud motherboard and you have to send it back instead of being able to install your CPU and um, into your motherboard and have the motherboard already installed into the case you want to test everything out before it's in your case uh, I forgot to mention that I should have probably put it in that order but so, because this is meant to be the first video I can tell you that now and go to that video first in the playlist so you will test see how to test your motherboard and everything make sure it turns on and I'll give you um, a good way of knowing that your computer is going to work when you put it all together and make sure everything's like um, it works and you don't have a faulty product. Next um, if I, uh, I've told you a lot of stuff in this and I might have forgot stuff I put like uh, sometimes I have text that pops up and it shows things to tell you what to do if you might miss those or you have questions. Uh, there is a thing called Google, and uh, not to be rude or anything, but I, that is really how I taught mo myself most everything I know Google and forums. I just like, if I need to know something, like, oh, this blue screen error, type it in, and typically, like, oh, well, it has to do something with the hard drive being in the wrong order in the BIOS. Um, like in, like I said, if you have, I say later in the video, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System, and like that, you can look up BIOS BIOS in Google, and it will tell you Basic Input Output System. If you want to know more what exactly what it is, Google can tell you stuff like. If you want to go more in depth, that's how you would learn that stuff. Now let's see if you feel like, and like I make this really slow like I wanted to make this so easy like my grandma could build a computer um, maybe like not with different parts but the same exact parts I have put in this video she could have built this computer like by following every step I put in this video that's how easy I wanted to make it so I would assume the majority of the people who want to build a computer have the general knowledge already like uh, what what's the PC uh, I mean, you may not what a PCI saw is, but you know, like, what the power supply looks like, what RAM looks like, stuff like that, so they already know, maybe generally what, how to install RAM or how to install a hard drive, but I do, do the steps so slow that I want everyone to make sure they know how to do it, so if you feel like you already know how to do it, just do it, and if I do it a different way, there's multiple ways to get to the same um, solution. You don't have to install it the way I'm, I'm doing it. I like wire management, and that's why I take a little bit longer. Make sure the wires are all clean. If you don't like it the way I'm doing it, then do it your way. It's a different way of doing it every single time. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just I follow mine as a guideline, and then do it how you feel is right. Let's see. Like I said, no one's perfect. I don't think I know everything. Um, if any of... Uh, like one of your friends says they know a ton about computers, so why unless uh, even uh, unless they have like a multiple PhDs or something in this stuff, even those people like still can learn news. There's still new stuff coming out. 
every single day about computers. So it's not like, even if you have a PhD from 20 years ago, I'm pretty sure that person might or might not have still caught up with all this stuff. There's so much computers like constantly evolving, there's no way to really keep up with it all. Unless you like have a ton of money and you can like keep on building new computers with every new technology. It's really hard to keep up, so I'm not going to say I know everything and I make mistakes and I'll usually show those mistakes in the video, which helps you, like, um, helps you figure out what to do and stuff like that. Like, for instance, I installed AMD CPU in this video for the first time. I've never installed an AMD CPU. I've only installed Intel CPUs and it just shows you that, like, it's not very different and everything else that is not that hard and I'm still learning stuff in computers so I don't like take any credit for knowing like I'm a genius or anything like that I just wanted to help everyone else and make a good video on YouTube see make sure and there's a little button in like the bottom right of this video or uh, something about annotations or just search Google how to turn on the annotations or it should be on by default it's those little uh, messages that pop up on the video Make sure those are on because I'll I might put messages later on after I had the video uploaded that I want you to see. Usually I also have those down below, so I'll have text down in the info box that I want you to read and stuff like that. So make sure you read that stuff and any messages that pop up in the video. And see, you be surprised what people can do. And. Like I said, I made it so easy, um, the video, so, like, for instance, like, um, what should I say, I guess, like, installing the RAM, like, how you've, or installing, like, f the first video is a very good example, how to install a case fan, like, that's just, like, mechanics, that's really nothing even to do with a computer, just, like, basic common sense, what way does the fan blow, what way should you, uh, like, how the screws, like, you turn right, to tighten it and turn left to loosen it. It's just common sense for that stuff. But you'd be surprised that there'd be people who don't realize exactly, like, they're paranoid about it, so it's like, oh, should the fan go this way or this way? And they're like, ah, oh, I'm not sure. But, like I said later in the video, if you're that paranoid, I suppose, maybe you, for your first computer or desktop, should buy one. Unfortunately, it's going to cost you a little bit more. Usually, it does. Sometimes, it doesn't. And then, learn from that desktop. Like, I had an old Dell learn for three, four years. Um, no, I got the Dell 8th grade, very in the 8th grade. And I built this computer right here for my senior project, the beginning of my senior year in high school. So, that's how long I had an old Dell computer. And I taught myself a lot in that time frame about computers. So, it's all about what you can do, what you can learn. If you don't know the basics already, it's probably not recommended to build your own computer, but if you do, and you have fun with it, that's what I did, and that's what you should do. If you have any questions, remember to ask below. I sh not necessarily know how fast I'll get to these questions to answer them, but um, the playlist should continue after this video. Well, take that back. You click a link down below, or I'll have an annotation up above, or click to start the playlist. And they'll start from fir the first video, and as you see fit, skip each video as you know how to, like, for instance, you already know the operating system, you don't have to watch that video. You know how to install a case fan, you don't need to watch that video. And you know how to install your DVD drive, you do not need to watch that video. And you can just skip it. Um, but if you just want to watch them all, that's good too. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll be seeing you in future videos. Thanks for watching.